Hey there PhD friends. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, is medical writing a good career? Now, sometimes I'm not really sure how to answer this question because good can be relative, right? Some for somebody, you know, I what I'm about to describe may be really good, and for somebody, it's just like, ah, uh, no, sis. So, you know, I want you to take everything I'm going to say and judge for yourself. Of course, the short answer to this question would be yes. Of course, medical writing is a great career. I have been in a full time medical writing role for 12 months. Prior to that, I was a freelance healthcare writer, and so I had clients in the healthcare space and I did that for about three years prior to me joining the current agency I am a part of. So I've enjoyed these four or so years of me writing and I will say that yes it is a very rewarding career. Now if you are somebody that loves to see your name attributed to pieces you have written then maybe medical writing is not for you because a lot of the time as a medical writer you will write behind the scenes Yes, there are opportunities for you to be bylined or for your name to be attached to a piece that you have written. But in my role as a science writer in a marketing agency, most of the content that I write ends up being what's known as ghost written. And so it's written, it's given to the company. Nobody's name specifically is attached to it, right? And so if you're okay with that, then you're going to be okay with the rest of what I have to say. And one of the biggest perks of being a medical writer, especially right now as I'm speaking as I'm recording this it's in December of 2021 is the fact that most medical writing roles are now remote of course there are places where you may still have to go into the office but by and large because of what's going on in the world right now most medical writing roles are remote and so if you wanted to work remotely if you wanted to work from home then medical writing is such a great career for you to be able to do that I currently work from home five days a week. I do not work on the weekends. I have my weekends off. I can do what I want with my family, uh, with my friends. I can, I have a lot of work life balance. And I think that's also a, a, a product of the culture and the company I'm a part of that we do. One of our values is work life balance. And so the company does live that. So I don't have my bosses sending me emails on the weekends or late at night to do things. Working hours are strictly working hours and I work remotely. So if you want to work remotely um, and you have a background in the medical sciences, you have writing experience, then I say go for it. It is going to be, you're going to love it. Another great perk of medical writing is the pay. The pay is great. Okay, so I looked on, I did a little bit of research before I, I, I shot this video um, on Glassdoor and based on about 500 reported salaries, the average um, a medical writer salary in the United States across all states, all types of roles is about $85,000 per year. That is not bad. Now you'll see that on this graph on the low end is about 60,000 on the higher end is about 121,000. This is just based on just 504 salaries that were reported to Glassdoor and there are definitely more medical writers in the United States than that. And so you can expect to make within that range and and if you wanted to make more, I'm sure you could make more, but this is the kind of salary that you can expect to make in this field. And that's nothing to scoff at, right? Even on the lower end, be 60, being about $60,000, that's not anything to like cough or laugh at. That's a decent salary, okay? And so it is a very well compensated career um, and you can make, yes, you can make six figures as a medical writer very easily. Um, and so if you wanted to, if that was one of your goals, then medical writing does offer that. But don't be mistaken, okay? The fact that it's remote, yeah, um, you know, and for me, at least in my um, in my position, I don't get contacted at nights or on the weekends to do any work. 
doesn't mean that you won't be working hard okay medical writing is a lot of work now i recently got a question that asks can i do medical writing and then also work in the lab and let me tell you when i'm done with my day i don't want to do anything okay because it, it involves a lot you're reading you are you know sometimes i go into projects where i do not know anything about the subject right and within about a month or two i'm supposed to come up with a white paper or an ebook on that subject that means i need to educate myself that means i need to make sure i understand the information make sure i'm translating that information in a very original way in that piece that i'm writing no plagiarism allowed okay plagiarism is just bad all the way but you are creating an original piece of content from scratch right on a topic that you didn't necessarily learn about in school but because you do have a scientific background and because most of the time as a phd you do to build that skill of learning new things right we're the bosses of learning you heard me say that right you're able to learn that thing and within a month or two create something original now who i don't know about you but that takes a lot of of work okay so to do that and then to go do something else i think that's the only reason that's why i just do youtube okay <laughs> because if i had to go somewhere else where i had to just go and like be using calculations and brain power no i would not <laughs> so it really is a full-time um role and um you know unless you're doing it in a freelance capacity doing one or two projects here and there um it's a full-time role it's a full-time role okay it, there is a lot of work involved but another reason i absolutely love the field i'm in right now is that i still get to learn a lot of science right i still get to learn a lot of science a lot of new cool things that are happening in 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 this space um in the especially in the healthcare and life sciences space i get to learn that i get to see the behind the scenes of of how things um are happening of how companies market their products right and so it, it really is a, a thrill for me to be able to still learn the science learn the basic science and see how that becomes the product and the product that maybe is being marketed it's really exciting so for me that loved the science and loved the healthcare but didn't necessarily want to be in a lab setting doing scientific research it's a treat for me there's also a part of me that loves to teach so so much and and this is why I used to be an adjunct professor and why maybe in the future I may still become a professor. But um, doing this, the, the educational pieces that I write and I get to teach, I get to use that part of me that loves to teach, break down the information because sometimes the piece that you're writing may be for a lay audience and um, an audience that doesn't, a lay audience is just an audience that is not scientific. And so being able to read the science understand the science break that down for a lay audience such a great teaching moment for me so for me as a person who loves science who loves teaching but who didn't necessarily want to become a research scientist this career is perfect for me so i would say medical writing is a great career it's great especially right now it's great especially right now if you wanted flexibility to be at home let's say with your kids or something it's a great career to be in for me when my company great work-life balance great salary and i still get to use everything i learned whilst i was a nurse and also as um, a phd so yes Medical writing is a great career and y'all should come on over.